there's never going to be a moment that I won't reflect on what happened October 23rd. I want to personally welcome you. Thousands gathered around the Beirut Memorial Monday morning. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about my, my husband. That's not a day. Among those here, Thomasine Baynard from Richmond. This is my husband. Lance Corporal James Baynard among the 220 Marines killed in the early morning hours of October 23rd, 1983. This year, we got a little bit more of the family. On this 40th anniversary, the Lance Corporal's sisters, nieces, and nephews witnessed a ceremony for the first time. I wanted them to um, to come and experience the Marines and just the community of Jacksonville and how much they love their Marines. For the survivors who return here each year, Commandant of the Marine Corps General Eric Smith had something specific to say to them. The Marines that are here, these men dug into that rubble and rebar with their bare hands. They got in there looking for their friends. They showed us what it was like to be a warrior, to leave no one behind. The Commandant also had a message for terrorists who may want to target U.S. Marines. If you target them, someone else will raise your children. The Beirut Memorial was dedicated three years after the terrorist attack and includes the name of every serviceman killed. On the other side, they came in peace. They were indeed sent there as friends, not enemies. The Secretary of the Navy, Carlos del Toro, reflected on the lives lost that day. They may not be here with us today, but as I feel the warmth of this sun on us, I know that their spirit is shining down upon us. As for Thomasine Baynard, the ceremony each year, also a personal reminder to her. I'm not by myself. I'm not alone. I'm not the only one who remembers my husband and all the other men that were, that, you know, sacrificed their lives for a mission, uh, an honorable mission. The memorial simply states they came in peace. Now, 40 years later, the families, a city, a county, the Marine Corps, and those who were there remain vigilant to always remember the names. At Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.